Wow. Um, well, this video definitely got a fair bit of backlash, which I just wanted to comment on. It was never my intention with this video to to get involved in a political debate of a country that I'm not in. That was never my intention. It, this was not even meant to be a political statement. It's not meant to be a political video. Uh, I, I wrongly, naively presumed that most people in the truth community would have by now um, become aware of the Hegelian dialectic that is politics. I thought that was a given, you know, that the intent was never to promote. As some, some people have even gone so far as to say that I'm a leftist and promoting Hillary Clinton. I'm a right-wing conservative Christian type, as how I've always been brought up, and I've always voted towards the right-wing, um, the party that would be more likely to support Christianity in the right wing. Sadly, there isn't really any of that left in politics, whether it be the UK or the US. There's no real Christianity. That's like saying that Fox is a Christian news a news network while it airs Lucifer on the other hand. So just because this is the pre-run to the elections, it doesn't mean to say that we're still not in the season of the end times, that the US and, well, most of the world is turning their back on God. It doesn't change any of that. Don't get caught in the hype. That's what I was trying to say about the emotions. Uh, it, it's easy to get caught in the hype. And then most people wake up afterwards and go, oh, hang on, it was just the same thing over and over again. There was no difference. The agendas that we expose on the RSC channel every day is no different to here and now with this election, with this, this whole thing that's going on. This ties into the making the male look crazy and the uh, female candidate more composed. So again, with that demonizing of the male, the age of the woman, all of that. It also ties into the demonizing of the Christian, which I was trying to expose on the other channel, um, that, that a lot of Christians, because he's standing as right wing, are getting drawn into that. But then at the same time, uh, being branded as racist, being branded as homophobic, being branded as extremist and we've got the whole oncoming what seems to be provocation of chaos and perhaps a war between the races and a war between the male and female all of these things that are going on um, to me it seems like this guy Donald Trump is really starting to stir up chaos from some of the clips that I've seen already Knock the crap out of him, would you? Seriously. Just knock the hell. I promise you, I will pay for the legal fees. I promise. In the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when they protested once, you know, they would not do it again so easily. I love the old days. You know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Mr. Trump, 17 days later, that actually happened. One of your supporters decided to sucker punch a protester. Anybody who tells you there is no connection between the behavior of the mob at these events and the behavior of the man at the podium leading the mob at these events uh, is not actually watching what he has been saying from the podium. These people are bringing us down. Remember that. They're bringing us down. No reason for it. This man is not free from the agenda. From what I've seen, there's no way he really can't be when billionaire rubbing shoulders with the elite and getting to this position in order to be shown across the world and run for president. Uh, uh, you don't you don't get to that position without being involved and in some way, shape or form. I'm sorry to say it's just the truth. So once again, saying things that are intentionally not politically correct to stir up the the bucket well whilst we've got all these massive influx of immigration that they've allowed all of the you know allowing all that to happen at the same time stirring up a sense of patriotism but with a false candidate who um who draws the right wing into that and stirs them up just like they're doing with alex jones agents of chaos that's what we'd call them and people say, well, why would the press be going against them? Hegelian dialectic, scapegoatism, 
the reason the the press would be going against them is because with every hateful statement that this person will make with every amount of every time the press laughs at Donald Trump to put it simply that is actually a converted form of them laughing at the right wing christians that do you see the way it works they're tarring christians with that racist branding the only way and i i understand why because the country is in a state our country is not great either the world is changing very fast and so along comes someone and says let's make our country great again i can understand why people would buy that so easily it plays on a, a place in people that is getting desperate but that is the ploy to feed into that desperation that is building within people and that's exactly the kind of manipulation that it always does just look back at history history repeats itself this is the same game with different players don't fall for it now I said in the video about Donald Trump that um, at the moment it's not like that in the UK which it isn't quite like that there's no one with the potential to run for president that is standing on the main stage and saying such controversial things that are not politically correct to the mainstream society there's there's not that going on here at the moment it's not to say our country is in a better spiritual state than the US because it isn't but I wanted to correct myself because there was a guy about four or five years ago the one pictured here who did rise up uh, not in quite such a big way as Donald Trump has he stood for the British National Party who are seen as an extremist right-wing Nazi linked party and was demonized you know while saying he was a Christian may I add he was saying similar things to Donald Trump and he got elected to the European Parliament and look at how they look at what happened on the BBC let me show you a few things he was saying so you can compare it to Donald Trump it's time to shut the door because this country is overcrowded. That criminals, bogus asylum seekers, and people who aren't loyal to this country should be deported, and everyone else can stay. I was sharing, I shared a platform with David Duke, who was once a leader of a Ku Klux Klan, always a totally non-violent one, incidentally. I was sharing, I shared a platform with David Duke, who was once a leader of a Ku Klux Klan, always a totally non-violent one, incidentally. A shadow of a doubt, I appreciate that if you look at some of the things I'm quoted as having said in the Daily Mail Day and so on, I'd be a monster. Those things are outrageous lies. That's a typical case of the press with misinterpretation. They take a half a sentence and they take a quarter of a sentence, they put it all together. If Muslims are staying in this country, they do so <clears> on the understanding <throat> that our country must remain fundamentally a British and Christian country. Because it treats women as second class citizens, because it says that a woman victim of rape should be stoned to death for adultery, and because it orders its followers to be harsh with those of the unbelievers who live near to them. The indigenous people of these islands, the people, the English, the Scots, the Irish and the Welsh. The whites. The, the, the colour is irrelevant. Uh, a, a misquotation then in the mail today says that uh, I said that black people walk like monkeys and so on. That is an outrageous lie. You people wouldn't even let us have our name on the census form. That is racism and that's why people are voting British National Party because we feel shut out in our own country. They must acknowledge that Britain always has been and must remain, and it's right that it should remain, a fundamentally British and Christian country based on Western democratic values and not on the eternal values of the Quran. Said about uh, homosexuals? I've said that a lot of people find uh, the sight of two grown men kissing in public really creepy. I understand homosexuals don't understand that, but that's how a lot of us feel. A lot of Christians feel that way, Muslims, all, all sorts of people. Do not have the right to try and preach homosexuality to school children. That is perverse. I'm not a Nazi. I never have been. Do not have a conviction for Holocaust denial. But you did deny it. The amusing issue. I was very critical of the way in which the Holocaust was and is, in fact, mm. abused to prevent serious right. discussion. I, I Claiming that they are linked to Christianity and but then at the same time you know denying the fundamental principles of christianity for example donald trump was asked if he'd ever seek forgiveness and he pretty much in so many words said no but it is making the left wing probably look a bit more composed hillary clinton and making the right wing look maniacal crazy even you know just the whole comedy act is all a comedy act so there is the potential, you just don't know. There is the potential, which I believe, that this is controlled opposition.
um, in order to make the right wing look mentally insane. That is what they are doing over and over again. With every every time we keep seeing this over and over that the right wing is being portrayed because it links to Christian fundamentalism and evangelical Christianity, they're making the right wing look weak. They're making the right wing look uh, unstable um, and laughable. So the only way to make America great again is not primarily with the ballot box. It is for people to get on their knees and pray that God would intervene in this situation, in the way things are unfolding, because these nations once respected God, but now they're striving after what's wrong, what's evil, what's sinful. And no man, including Donald Trump, is going to single-handedly save or redeem a nation uh, that is turning away from God. Don't make this political. I'm really surprised that 30% of truthers on the main channel made this political. This is nothing to do with politics. This is to do with a spiritual war. This is to do with the Bible. It's to do with prophecy. And um, we need to pray. That's all we can do. Don't Please don't ask my advice on who or whether you should vote because that's between you and God. It's It's your own choice to make. But I'm just trying to warn people that this agenda goes far deeper than it looks. Don't just jump on someone charismatic who comes onto the scene and says everything that our rich and ears want to hear. Because <clears throat> this is how the trick works. They play society. They play on people's emotions and it's dangerous. Until next time, God bless and I'll speak to you soon.